Hello everyone, I'm Alpha Heavy Gamer back again with the latest breaking news from the second dev server of the Direct Hit update. So getting right to it, I know a lot of people were pissed off and sad that the Vigan wasn't going to have any countermeasures. The way the game has been trending lately, if you don't have Chaffer Flare as a top tier, you're kind of dead on arrival. Well friends, Gaijin has fixed that. In the latest iteration on the dev server, we now have the JE37C Vigan. This version supposedly had chaff and flare dispensers, although I couldn't find any sources, but I'll take it. I do know from my research, however, that the J37D Vigan was equipped with an ECM pod, so we do have room for growth with the Vigan models in the game. Before I move on, I know all of you have been waiting for the Vigan, including myself. Uh, we were kind of heartbroken that it didn't have countermeasures. There was a high probability that it was going to be bad in the game without them. But now I feel that the Vigan has the potential to be one of the best aircraft in the game now. In other news related to this, several other aircraft are also getting countermeasures added. The MiG-21 SMT and the MF are both getting chaff and flares, as well as both of the Jaguars, the British and the French, are both getting chaff and flares for those aircraft. So good stuff all around. I understand some people may be a little bit salty, but you should be. I think they're making a good decision um, because I believe very soon, um, in the near future, they're going to introduce true all aspect infrared missiles on jets. And when they do that, what it's going to mean is if you don't have protection, you don't have chaff flares, your aircraft pretty much is going to be useless. So it's very good that they're reevaluating aircraft and adding chaff and flare dispensers um, when they can. So up next, the F4EJ Kai is confirmed. I saw it on a dev server. Unfortunately, it didn't have its Mitsubishi AM-3 uh, iterative missiles, which is a Japanese homegrown sidewinder, but it did have the AM-7E2 Sparrows. So it's equipped with Sparrow 2 missiles. It also has its APG-66 radar with a 35 mile range. I saw some interesting modes on the radar. It's, I saw a look down mode and IFF mode a BVR mode, which is the Beyond Visual Range mode, and an ACM mode, so Air Combat Maneuvering mode. So for those of you that will be grinding to the Kai pretty much immediately um, upon the patch release, it looks like you're going to have a pretty nice looking suite of, uh, of new shiny tools there. So some more good news for the Phantoms in the game. So the British Phantoms are also getting the Sky Flash missile which makes a lot of sense to me. It shows Gaijin is really thinking about the balance this time. If the Vigan had been the only aircraft to feature the Sky Flash, I think we might have had a bit of a problem on our hands. But don't get too excited because the Sky Flash missile has um, been getting some refinement on the dev server. It continues to get balanced and it may not be a 30G missile after all, but as always, the dev server numbers are not final. So last up, I've been talking about winners, um, but with every patch, there's going to be some losers. Italy is looking um, to take some serious hits this patch. I'm, I'm not really playing here. We're not getting the ESA. Um, at least I don't see it uh, coming. It's not on the dev server. And the F-104S is losing the ability to carry the 20 millimeter gun when it's equipped with sparrows. I mean, it's historically accurate, but goddamn. I mean, Italy already got hit hard with the Sagittario 2 uh, with its repair costs going through the ceiling. Um, but Italy gets an F-104G, right? <laughs> That's good, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm being pretty sarcastic there. Um, seriously, though, there's very, very little reason now to play top tier Italy. Um, they really need to get some stuff. All right, y'all. So that's the video for today. Um, if you like what you saw and heard here, uh, please drop a like and consider a subscribe. It immensely helps the channel out and helps me to get uh, new content out. Appreciate it. I'll see you in a future video.